Hi and welcome to this course called Fun with Physics. I'm Professor Harrison Kotha from Don Bosco College of Engineering, Goa. In this course, we will be learning about various elementary topics in physics. The learning will be supported by some exciting and fun-filled examples. The first topic in this course is on motion and speed. So what is motion and what is speed? Motion is defined as the change in the position of an object with time. In the above animation, you can see the position of this object is changing. So we say that the object is in motion. The rate of change of position of the object with time is called as its speed. In the above animation, we can see that the speed of this snail is very slow and the woman sitting on it is quite annoyed because it's moving so slowly. The formula for speed is speed is equal to distance traveled upon time taken. To get these concepts more clear, we are going to consider two exciting examples. The first example is about the rabbit and the tortoise race. I'm sure you must have heard about this race when you were small. I want you to take a minute or so and reflect about this story. You can pause this video by clicking here and answer this question. What happens in the rabbit versus tortoise story? Write down your answer in your course journal. Click here to resume playing the video once you're done. Welcome back. I hope you'll have all written the story in your course journal. Well, the story is about a rabbit and a tortoise who decide to have a race. Everyone would have expected the rabbit to win the race because the speed of the rabbit is quite large compared to the speed of the tortoise. But then, the rabbit was very overconfident. And because of this, the tortoise managed in winning the race. Let us analyze this race in terms of the speed of the rabbit and the tortoise. We'll assume that the race track is of about 100 meters. The speed of the rabbit is about 12 meters per second, which comes out to be about 43 kilometers per hour. Compared to the speed of the rabbit, the speed of the tortoise is very less, only about 20 millimeters in a second, which comes out to be about only 72 meters in an hour. The time taken by the rabbit to cover this 100 meter racetrack is only about 8 seconds. How do we get it? The formula for speed is, speed is equal to distance upon time. So time is equal to distance upon speed which is equal to 100 meters divided by 12, which comes out to be about 8 seconds. Similarly, the speed of the, the time taken by the tortoise to cover this 100 meters track is about 1 hour 30 minutes. Thus, we can all expect the rabbit to outcome the tortoise by about one and a half hour. But despite that, the tortoise wins the race. And the moral of the story, we all know, slow and steady wins the race. Our next example is about an interesting question. We experience a sunrise or a sunset about every 12 hours. But do you know about someone who experiences a sunrise or a sunset every 45 minutes? Take some time to ponder on this question and get some answers. You can click here to pause this video and answer this question. Who can experience a sunrise or a sunset about every 45 minutes? Write down your answers in your course journal. You can click here to resume playing this video once you are done.
welcome back i'm sure you must have got some answers for this question who can experience a sunrise or a sunset every 45 minutes well the correct answer is the astronauts in a space shuttle how is that you can see in this figure this is the earth having a radius of about 6400 kilometers and this is the space shuttle orbiting around the earth at a speed which is very high 8 kilometers in a second at a distance of about 400 kilometers above the earth now every time the space shuttle approaches this point it is entering into the light of the sun which is equivalent to a sunrise whereas every time the space shuttle enters towards this point it is entering into the shadow region which is equivalent to a sunset now the speed of the space shuttle is 8 kilometers per second the circumference of one revolution is by formula 2 pi r which is equal to 2 pi into 6800 kilometers which is equal to 42700 kilometers the time taken to complete this one full revolution is given by the formula time is equal to distance upon speed which is 42700 divided by 8 which is equal to 5340 seconds which is almost equal to 89 minutes now since the earth completes one revolution in 24 hours we on the earth see a sunrise or a sunset every 12 hours but since the space shuttle completes one revolution in 89 minutes the astronauts on the space shuttle will see a sunrise or a sunset every 45 minutes interesting isn't it with this we conclude the first topic motion and speed in this course fun with physics thank you and keep having fun with physics